Hello, Virgo. It's my lady, and this is my lady's way tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly tell it like it is reading in the week of December 14th through the 21st, 2023. The cards I'm using today are the Psychic Tarot Oracle card, Oracle deck by john holland and i'm closing off with my tarot apocalypticist by eric dune and kim huggins huggins respectfully i want to thank everybody for like sharing subscribing and setting up personal readings commenting and hitting that notification bell all right more foes let's get the shoe Ooh on the road all right what's going on with the virgo so i've been getting a little a lot of new starts new beginnings from these readings today it might be because it's so close to the end of the year everybody's energy is like new me new me i'm done with this i'm done with you know which is an awesome thing and just doing these cards is letting me know that you know we got a lot of people who are actually getting ready to get rid of that negativity in their life and that that's awesome that's awesome. We all need to do it. All right. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Right. Okay. I didn't warn you about this, <laughs> but I don't know the chakras yet. Um, so I am reading all the chakras right out the book. Okay, so we got the third eye chakra. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Right there. So we got page 163, 164. All right, so page 163 says, Color is indigo, sound is mm, and element light, gland, pituitary, and keywords, I see. Hmm. So this makes me feel like a lot of people are going to be reading through people, reading through the bull crap, okay? Uh, reading to see what somebody really want, really need, really desire, okay? And reading, yeah, through the bull crap, through the good stuff, and reading through the bull crap to what's really going on, okay? So I, it's like I'm seeing straight through you. All right, so let's read this, all right? I don't got my glasses on, y'all, so I'm going to apologize in advance, but let's go. So it says, this is the most often talked about of all the chakras. The clairvoyance, inner seeing, intuition, and higher levels of consciousness are associated with this energy center. Found between the eyebrows and just above the bridge of your nose, it works closely with your throat and crown chakras and will assist you with your psychic and intuitive and inner guidance <laughs> the balance of the third eye chakra i recommend that you, you know to balance the third eye chakra i recommend that you practice walking meditating breath work yoga tai chi visualization and color therapy don't just focus on the one chakra as part of your development as it's importance to remember that they will they should all be in balance in order to work in unison and harmony oh so this one is a big one this is like change you gotta do all your chakras it's, it's so weird it, like it's right because everybody be like my third eye is opening okay but this is a lot of things going on with your third eye being open i mean this book is saying it's more than just uh you you seeing stuff for more than what it is and seeing through stuff is actually like working on your your inner being as well well okay all right so i didn't drop the whole deck like whatever let's see what this is all right so we got the disruption here so i do feel like somebody is feeling held down held back and it's oh i just felt it but i feel like 
it's it's what people around me are doing. People aren't stopping me from being who I can be, who I need to be, who I want to be. Oh, I'm starting to see this, okay? So this makes me feel like somebody may have a... a I'm hearing incoherent, so maybe in some cases it's that. But um, one of those relationships where I always get in trouble when I see you doing something good so you can't finish it. Okay, I can't think of a word by it right now, but that's what I feel like. That's what's going on. Every time you want to do something to spread your wings, uh, you got some codependent relationships where somebody doesn't want you to be better because um, they feel like you're going to leave them. Leave them alone. Okay, so discontent and boredom. Okay, so somebody is just getting over this situation. I'm over it. I'm done with it. Okay, it's just too much for me right now okay so somebody's just over the whole thing it's like i'm i'm done not doing things for myself not working on myself not working on my business and just only working for you so somebody is starting to see that somebody has been playing them this whole time so we got the truth here so yes yeah, somebody is starting to see the truth but i also feel like like I said in the beginning, somebody's reading through all the bull crap. So it's like, all right, so all of a sudden, you just end up having a doctor's appointment on my exam date. Or when I was going to sign up for school. Or when I was going to sign up for yoga. Or when I was going to sign up for the gym. It's just like so convenient that every time I'm about to do something to better myself or change my life, something happens with you. And I feel like somebody is starting to see the truth out of everything. Somebody's starting to see all the times that this person has stopped um, the growth. Okay. I'm seeing it all. I'm seeing that you really just holding me back. You're holding me back. You don't want me to be anything, go anywhere, see anything, be anything without you. All right. So we got the material harvest here. So this makes me feel like somebody is coming to a place where everything that they work for is getting ready to come to light. So this just makes me say, be careful, trust yourself, trust your intuition in this, uh, in this situation, because you know, just like in the past, this person is going to stop. Okay. So no matter what happens, it's horrible because I heard a car accident, but whatever this is, it was purposely planned to stop you. So whenever you go into whatever you go into, that interview, that, you know, a uh, team meeting, that promotion dinner, whatever it is you're going to, uh, you're going to have to cut your phone off and do it and deal with this situation after because you got to start becoming first first. OK, um, for I do feel like for some of you guys, you already start doing this, but this person is definitely um, doing some very um, extreme things to keep you from um, being successful. So somebody's just starting to see it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Material and spiritual prosperity. Yeah, so it looks like somebody is getting ready to get that material that gain that they've been um, working for. And I do feel like the, the, the spiritual gain is coming as well. So it is somebody's third eye is opening. But to keep it open, you just got to work on it. You got to work on yourself. And you just got to trust that what you're seeing, what you know, and what you're feeling are real. Okay? Oh, yeah. Success is definitely on the way. It's, it's actually here. Okay? It's here. So somebody's getting ready to bust out of these uh chains. I said use it. So I'm going to do it. Ha ha. Sacral chakra. Of course, it'd be another chakra because I can't read. But let's go find that book. Chakra number two. I think I was calling all the sacras, uh, chakras this one. Even though I read the right word and read the right page, I was still saying this name. I got to stop doing it. I don't know why I like saying that one so much. And then I just keep on talking. Maybe I didn't get this one yet. Because this is definitely stuck, stuck together. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, so it looks like color orange, sound vam, element water, 
glands, testicles, ovaries. Um, keywords I want. Okay, so let's see what this is talking about. All right. So known as the sacral chakra, the second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. To keep this chakra balanced and its energy flowing, try dancing, moving your hips and lower abdomen using a color meditation and practicing yoga. Express your sexuality in nature. Nurture yourself. Okay, got to get a little closer for that one. Um, and remember, you matter. Okay, so definitely putting yourself in between, um, in, before other things. But it looked like, yeah, somebody may be getting ready to do some yoga classes. Maybe not just the gym, but it's basically empowering uh, yourself and, and just doing a lot more moving around. It looks like. From that, I feel like somebody wants you to just sit around and do nothing and wait on them hand and foot. And I feel like you are tired of that. Okay. So, ooh, deception and envy. Now, this is the first time I'm seeing this. So, this makes me feel like this is the reason this person is doing it. They're trying to act like I just want to be with you. I just want you there. But it's all a disguise. This person is really envious of you. And that's why they're trying to keep you under their thumb. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the um, tarot apocalypticist. What's going on with the Virgo? What's going on with the Virgo? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Virgo. I just saw the color pink. That pink, it just got real big. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, so we got the Hermit card reverse. Oh my gosh. Um, so this, I believe this is um, your energy here. I think her, Hermit is Virgo. Yes, it is. But I also feel like, you know, I haven't been feeling myself. I haven't been being myself. But this is also depression, the depression, sadness uh, card as well. And I feel like somebody is getting ready to come out of that isolation, that sadness, depression, and start being the person that they are once they realize that this person is only trying to stop me because they are jealous. Okay? Jealous. All right, so we got the Prince of Pentacles here. So this makes me feel like um, somebody is not pushing money out or giving money out, okay? So it's like somebody is not giving you what you need, but they don't want you to make it yourself, okay? So definitely trying to keep you stuck, trying to keep you down, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so yes, this is definitely the first way to protect your energy. Stop fighting. Stop fighting with yourself mentally about should I go, should I not go, um, and do what's best for yourself. Um, and physically, stop fighting mentally and physically with this person now that you know what they're up to, what they're all about, okay? All right, so we got the King of Cups here. So, yes, I know this is going to be hard. And I feel like that's why this King of Cups is here because I want to be the one that care. I want to show the things that I care. I want to protect and be fair. Um, but I also want to be that for myself as well, okay? So I do feel like somebody is still going to try to take that time and be there and care. But I also feel like somebody is just cutting off all the crap and making sure they get what they need as well, okay? So it's like I'm going to be there for you, but I'm going to eat first. Okay, I am going to eat first. 
All right, so we got the Princess of Swords. Of course this is going to happen. So it looks like after uh, you start changing, you start seeing the little funny business, the manipulation and all that different stuff going on, you're going to start um, <sighs> changing your behavior. So when the manipulators see that you're changing your behavior, they're going to start manipulating more, but they're also going to start stalking you and watching you and accusing you, okay? I'm talking about you going to uh, the gym. They're going to go to the gym too and sit out in the parking lot until you get done. They're going to keep calling you while you go in there or to the business meeting or to um, the office or wherever you're going. They're going to wait outside until you get done and they're going to make sure they call you and when you tell them by the day about you about to go, they're going to hurry up and hurry home. And I do feel like in some cases, they're not going to hurry up and go home. They're going to go around the corner, wait for you to get there so you can call them and ask them where they at. So this person is definitely going to try to play mind games to keep you under their thumb. But just try not to engage and you will be successful. Okay. But other than that... That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.